I've had a pretty varied experience when it comes to gym and training in general over the past few years. I transitioned from general training to powerlifting to weightlifting, all in about a year and a half. To bring that all together in one big video, today I want to explain how I went from this to this to this and to what I am now. I had always been a reasonably chubby kid and never got to the point of unhealthiness, I just liked eating. I also realised I was quite big as I was slightly more muscular than other kids my age. So I began to gym. I went through an intense period of training in the first half of 2018 and put absolutely everything into gym and fitness. My only goal was to lose fat and gain muscle. Nothing else was on my mind. And I did. I lost a whole load of fat and by summer I looked the best I had ever done in my entire life. I had dieted hard along with doing hours and hours of cardio and interval training. It had paid off. This boosted my motivation massively. My friends and family were shocked at how much I had changed. So I continued to train. That was when I found powerlifting. I researched federations and decided the IPF seemed to be the best choice for me. I found a local meet and within a week of deciding I wanted to go into the powerlifting, I entered the Southeast Bench Press competition. Unknowingly, this competition would later lead me on to being on the GB bench team. I qualified for nationals and continued to train. I encountered a couple injuries between the regionals and nationals, both of my elbows suffering from quite bad tendonitis. Despite this, I went on to win nationals with a 115 kilogram bench after an absolutely dreadful weight cut, securing me a spot on the GB team going to Tokyo in May that year. I started training harder than ever before, and before Worlds I decided to enter my first full power competition, the Southeast Classic. I hit 180 kilogram squat, 117.5 kilogram bench, 202.5 kilogram deadlift, which gave me the first place total of 500 kilograms. At this point I was still in very good shape, not your typical powerlifter physique due to the weight cuts I had to maintain a low level of body fat through dieting and cardio. Now not only the national bench champion, but also the southeast champion. I continued to train hard for worlds and eventually arrived in Tokyo. After another dreadful weight cut to 83 kilograms, I came fifth in my category, hitting 117.5 kilogram bench. I was far off a fourth, but I was gutted that I didn't hit my third attempt of 122.5 kilograms. The intense feeling of failure after missing a lift on an international stage has stayed with me even until now. However, it is not often you get to say that you are fifth in the world at something. I didn't like failing, and I continued to train. My coach and I decided to move up a weight category would be a good idea. So I moved up to the 93kg weight class so I could qualify for nationals in the 93s at an upcoming competition during summer. Three days before the competition, on the final day of my peaking cycle, I unknowingly weakened my hamstring tendon. I then proceeded to partially tear the tendon while squatting at the competition. I was only lifting heavy enough to hit the qualification total for nationals, but I still managed to tear it. I believe this injury led to my brain kicking up many thoughts about powerlifting I had been throwing under a rug from beforehand. I had always been a sporty person, playing rugby, cricket, swimming and athletics. Powerlifting did not match these generally dynamic sports and I realised powerlifting was not a sport I could see myself doing in five years time, but Olympic weightlifting was. It seemed to be a dynamic, technical and difficult sport. I was intrigued. I had performed some Olympic weightlifting movements as a powerlifter but never as anything more than the small end of session piss take. So I switched. I spent the next months trying to learn Olympic weightlifting at the same time as trying to rehabilitate my hamstring tear. I suffered from a lot of strength loss in both legs and lost a lot of muscle. But the lack of squatting ability meant I could focus on power snatches, power cleans and pulling movements. I kept training and my numbers improved. This was largely due to my coach's amazing advice and programming and helping me switch over from powerlifting to weightlifting in that time. This was real for me now, and it was something I could focus on. I then began to understand how hard weightlifting is compared to powerlifting. The hours you put in, the mobility, the recovery, your full willpower will be needed. And then, another injury. I got knocked out and severely concussed during a rugby school game, so I had to take out another six weeks. When I came back to training, my strength levels had dropped again. In six weeks I went from looking like this, to this. I had hit a low point in my training. So I began working even harder than before. I started eating much more and packing on muscle and fat, bulking much more, and began doing mobility, recovering properly and taking care of myself. It was then I realised I could actually go somewhere in the sport. By the end of the year I had an 87kg power snatch and 113kg power clean and jerk. Due to the hamstring tear, I had never fully learnt how to drop into a lift, but from around this January, I began to improve massively. I then had a session in early March this year where both my snatch and clean and jerk just clicked. 
I hit PRs on both with a variation, not even a full lift. And that brings us to the max out session I had two weeks ago. I hit 100 kilogram snatch, 128 kilogram clean and jerk, 190 kilogram squat, and an 80 kilogram overhead press. I may not be as ripped or as lean as I used to be, but I realize I must keep my body in shape for weightlifting, not physique. I'll be ready when you say